What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down two things that every slot wide receiver needs to be able to do to play at the next level, okay? So the first thing we're going to be talking about here is how you guys can attack off coverage, okay? So a lot of the times when you're out of the slot, whether you're facing an off-man coverage like so, or maybe like a catch technique where that DB is kind of waiting for you, maybe it's a press bail kind of look, or maybe it's a zone coverage look where that DB is sitting to the inside shade, and you have to run a route like a dig route, a post route, you have to get comfortable with attacking the DB. You have to get comfortable closing the space with him because if you leave space between you and a linebacker you and a safety who's rolled down he's going to be able to react on your route so this first route here we're looking at it from Kyle Phillips out of UCLA at all-star bowl so he's coming off he does a great job of closing space with the DB working back up to the dig and getting to the depth of the route so why is this important because if you guys try a lot of slot wide receivers they're afraid of the contact you know whether it's a bigger linebacker on the inside whether it's a guy in man coverage they're so afraid to, because this guy's usually um this this safety walk down whether it's a strong safety safety, free safety, or maybe it's a linebacker is usually a bigger, more physical guy than us, right? Out of the slot because slot receivers are naturally on the smaller side. But what we do have working for us is we have quickness and we have speed on our side. And just like any other receiver, we know what we're doing and the DB does not, right? So the goal on a dig route would be is to be able to get this guy's hips to flip vertical, be able to push vertical and then snap this thing off to create space. But if I just go up, what a lot of receivers will do is they'll kind of attack him and they'll try to run away from him. Now, when you try to run away from him, you're leaving so much space with you in the DB that a, he could react in time, even if you do get him off the platform initially. But if you leave too much space, there's you're not getting back up vertical. You're not threatening him deep. So he's going to be able to have time to recover to your stem. So you want to try to step on his toes the best you can, and you do not want to be afraid to attack him, whether that's zone coverage, whether it's off-man coverage. I want to close the space with him because now when I close the space and maybe I get him to hesitate a little bit to the outside, then when I burst back up vertical, it's a tighter angle. That's what forces that DB to have to commit his hips. It's no different than off the line of scrimmage. Maybe you have like an inside, let's say you're lined up right here and you have an inside shade DB and you try to just like set him up with the release and slip back under. There's too much space between the two of you. And when there's too much space between the two of you, he's got more time to react. But when we stay tight to him, when I push vertical, that can get him to commit vertical. And when I have that sudden break, I can get even a step or two of separation. And trust me, fellas, out of the slot, this is plenty. That is all you need when you're going over the middle to create some space. So number one thing that slot wide receiver do. Do not be afraid of contact. Make sure that we are closing space with that linebacker, with that safety, with that DB, whoever has walked down playing coverage on me. Let's watch the thing again full speed. Then we're going to be talking about how you guys can attack an outside shade coverage look because that's a common look that slot wide receivers will get. So great job attacking him by Phillips, giving him a crossover move, and then breaking this thing right off over the middle. So now, a common look at a press coverage that you will see, or man coverage, off man coverage as a slot wide receiver, and I apologize for the clip being a little bit blurry, is that you'll have an outside shade man coverage guy. So why would a DB ever play outside shade? And how do I run any kind of outside breaking route, like an out route, like a corner route? Because that's what slot wide receivers like to run. But obviously... Fellas, to be able to play the wide receiver position, you need to be able to have explosion. You need to be able to have ankle stability to make these cuts, to be able to sell your routes. And if you guys want a specific set of drills for a one-month-long schedule, check out that very first link in the description below for our 28-day on-field wide receiver workout plan. So what you'll get access to is a four-week-long schedule with all the specific drills and exercises wide receivers need to do on the field to improve their route running, press releases, catching ability, explosion, balance, everything that's going to make you a better player on the field that you can do check out that very first link in the description below we give you every single exercise with sets reps and a video explaining each specific drill so again i hope you guys can get on that great opportunity for you guys to improve your on-field skills and route running as a wide receiver there's over a hundred plus drills in here that you guys can use let's get back to this video so now second thing that slot wide receivers have to do like we said outside shade how do you run the outside breaking routes how do you attack this kind of leverage a db is playing you outside shade usually out of the slot for two reasons what do slot receivers like to run a lot of? We kind of talked on it. They like to run a lot of outside breaking routes because they're out of the slot. And so why not utilize this field that we have to the outside? So slot wide receivers like to run a lot of 10 yard outs, corners. Um, they like to run maybe a lot of like quick five yard outs. So a DB naturally in man coverage, if he has safety help, will be sitting outside shade. Because if you just take the inside release right now, you're running right to his help to the inside. And that's exactly where he wants you to go. He does not want to give you the outside release because all that will do is make it harder on the safety to help him out. And again, he's got a lot more space to cover to the outside over here. So that DB 
we will do whatever it takes to not give up the outside release. So we're going to play this full speed. This ends up being a seam route, but we're going to see how we could turn this release into a corner route, an out route, a seam route, whatever you want. So he comes off, attacks him, gives him a crossover, and right there, he's got the DB on any route because of what he does off the line, right? So when we have that outside shade guy, a lot of slot receivers, like we said, are afraid of the contact. They're afraid to go at this guy and attack this guy because, oh, well, what if he sits right there and he tries to get hands on me? Good. That means if he sits right there, he's going to be flat-footed. And that's exactly what I want as a slot because, like I said in the very beginning, I have speed and I have quickness on my side. So we attack his leverage because we know he's going to keep his leverage. He's going to do whatever it takes to not let me square him up and take the outside release and run like a slot fade or restack and run an out route. He will do whatever it takes. So that's my mindset. I want to attack him. I want to give him a move to the outside, get him to jump off the platform. And now if he had to run a corner, if he had to run an out, he's got him on that because now he could restack. Now he can easily get back over the top, break it off on the corner, break it off on the post. Luckily, we just had a seam for this DB's case, but that's what we have to understand how to do. Understand as a slot wide receiver, how to attack the outside shade, what you can do to beat that outside leverage coverage and why a DB would be playing you there. Out of the slot, that's probably one of the more common looks you will see because that DB or safety or linebacker, or whoever is trying to utilize the safety help and just try to force you to the inside right now. Let's watch it again. Full. Imagine what you would do again. One more thing before we play it full speed. Imagine what this DB would do if we just kind of took off to the inside and ran the seam. He'd get right into my hip force me and squeeze me to the safety, and that's an impossible throwing window for the quarterback. We have to move him off the platform. We have to attack his leverage. Watch it full speed. Great job with the release there from Phillips. Great job getting that head down, accelerating, get back over the top. Just need a better ball from that QB. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. We always appreciate the feedback, and you know it's always awesome to hear from you guys because you guys keep this channel rolling. And again, fellas, if you would like a four-week-long wide receiver field workout schedule. All the on-field drills wide receivers should be doing. Check out that very first link in the description below. See you guys next time.